Welcome back to Mr. Menta's ELL Classroom. Today we're going to start Chapter 4 of the Red Book. To complete this lesson, you're going to need this page, page 29 from your textbook, this page, page 30 from your textbook, and this page, page 30 from your activity book. Now, Chapter 4 covers the future tense and the word will. And if I had written this book, I would have put this chapter way back in the blue book. I would have gone over this much sooner because I think this is very important. I also think it's maybe a little easy. It's maybe not as hard as some of the other things we did with going to. So this is how to talk about the future using the word will, like I will eat that, I will drink this. We're also going to talk about time expressions and we're going to talk about the word might. So, like every chapter, we have some vocab words that we will be using to practice our tenses. So let's go over them. Number one, begin. That uh, means the same thing as start. Number two, end. I think you know end. End, finish, complete. Number three, arrive. That means when you get there. When you arrive is when you have come to a new place or, or when you have uh, started a visit. Number four, return. That's to come back again. Return. Return is something that you do again. Number five, grow up. This, I think, is a little confusing. This is supposed to be the same guy, okay? This, so this is when he's young, older, and a man. Six, get married. <coughs> Seven, name. Name can be a verb, like to give a name. Eight, move. <coughs> Nine, helmet. That's helmet. Ten, safety glasses. Eleven, warning. Warning means when you say, wait, stop, danger, danger, Will Robinson. That, that, never mind, that was an old joke. You wouldn't get that. That was an old TV show. Um, but that's a warning. Okay, enough vocab. Let's get started. Go to the next page. And over here, we have our practice using the word will, which of course is my name. My name is Will, but it's also a word. Will the train arrive soon? And now we've got a nice blue box showing us how to use will in contractions. So it says, I will, we say I'll. I will means I'll. Just like that's is that is, and I am is I'm, I will is I'll. Okay, so I'll work. Let's do this too. Will he work? Yes, he will. Okay. I'll work. He'll work. She'll work. It'll work. We'll work. You'll work. They'll work. So it's a lot like um, is, am, and are. You know, instead of saying they're, we're saying they'll. Okay. Same idea. It means for the future. Okay, so in our example, we have a woman talking to a man, and she says, Will the train arrive soon? Yes, it will. It'll arrive in five minutes. Okay? So this is just using these words with the vocab words we practiced on the other page. It's a pretty good opening segment. What I want you to do now is take out your activity page, okay? So this page, hopefully you have access to a printer, and you can print this. If you don't, just write the answers. And you'll notice this page goes over the same things we were just talking about. Will. Will you be back soon? Yes, I will. I'll be back in half an hour. 
Okay? So we're going to finish filling out the page with practicing the word will. Notice that when we're answering a question, we don't use a contraction. When you're saying, yes, I will, okay, you do not say, yes, I'll. You say, yes, I will. Then if you have a separate uh, sentence, you'll say, I'll be back. All right. So I'll do this one with you to make sure you get it. This person's asking, will the game begin soon? And so we'll answer, yes, it will. Yes, it will. It'll begin in 10 minutes. Get it? All right, so pause the video now and write the answers on the worksheet or a separate sheet of paper. When you're done, come back to me and we'll go over the answers together. Alright, did you pause the video? So I already gave you this one, so let's go on to the next one. So, will Henry return soon? Yes, he will. He'll return in a week. Will we be ready soon? Yes, we will. We'll be ready in a little while. Number five. Will Grandma and Grandpa arrive soon? I hope you're checking your work, okay? I had some students email me their work, and it looked like that they hadn't been listening when I gave them the answers, okay? Some of your answers are probably wrong. So check the paper, read the paper, what you just wrote now, and listen and see if it matches what I'm saying. You have to check your work yourself, okay? Will Grandma and Grandpa arrive soon? Yes, they will. They'll arrive in 15 or 20 minutes. Will the storm end soon? Yes, it will. It'll end in a few hours. How could he know that? How does he know what time the storm is going to end? That makes no sense. I think that's crazy. Will Kate be here soon? Yes, she will. She'll be here in a few minutes. Is he trying to get married? Is his wife late to their wedding? Well, that's, not, that's not a good way to start things out. <laughs> hey, it's our old friends, the smiling guys in prison. Oh, we haven't seen them since the blue book. Will you get out soon? Yes, I will. I'll get out in a month. Okay. I hope you're paying attention and checking your work. Checking your work is half the assignment. You're not done after you finish writing. Then you have to listen to what I say and check your work, okay? Let's go on to the last part of this lesson, which is this one. So now... We're going to uh, do more answering questions about the future, just like we just practiced, only now you have to write a full sentence. So take out your separate sheet of paper, write number one, and write just the answer, just the answer to this one. So the question is, will the game begin soon? You write, yes, it will. It'll begin at 7 o'clock, using this word here. Understand? So use the words here to answer the questions just like we did on the other page, okay? 
All right, you know how to do it. Pause your work, write the answers, okay? Then when you're done, unpause the work, and we will go over the answers together. So pause, pause, pause the video. Did I say something else? Pause the video now and do your work. All right, did you pause the video? All right. So number two. Will Ms. Lopez return soon? Remember, M-S makes Ms. Yes, she will. She'll return in an hour. Okay. So did you check what you wrote? Check what you wrote carefully. Read it over. Read back while I read. She'll return in an hour. Did you write that? Work carefully. You, you're the only one who can do that. You're not really going to learn unless we catch the mistakes. I mean, we'll learn some, but you learn so much more when you catch mistakes. All right. Number three. Will you be ready soon? Yes, I will. I'll be ready in a few minutes. Will the guests be here soon? Yes, they will. They'll be here in half an hour. Number five, will your brother get home soon? Yes, he will. He'll get home in a little while. Number six, will you be back soon? Yes, we, did, they, did you catch that one? We will. We'll be back in a week, because there's two of them. We. Will the storm end soon? Yes, it will. It'll end in a few hours. Okay, see, him I believe he knows when the storm is going to end. At least he can make a good guess. That makes sense. Some random guy in his house? Why would he know when the storm is going to end? It doesn't. It seems crazy. But it is what it is. Number eight, and last one. Will I get out of the hospital soon? Yes, you will. You will get out in two or three days. And if you wrote, you'll get out of the hospital in two or three days, that's also good. All right, you've reached the end of the lesson. Good work. I will see you next time.